He's back. After being sealed in chapter 91, 1184 days later in chapter 221, Gojo has been unsealed, released, unleashed the world and hopefully he can save us. If you want to talk about the details on his release, there are videos out there. I'm going to focus on the implications, the significance of his release, how it makes us feel and why we need Gojo for Jujutsu Kaisen. In the meantime, please consider subscribing to the Shaman Tribe. Join us on our journey to 10,000 subs, Gojo returning gave a lot of skepticism and unease to even our heroes who thought oh crap what if he's not mentally stable and he goes on a rampage. However, Gojo being Gojo, he put our skepticism at ease by transcending our expectations and being Gojo. He then confronts Kenjaku saying yo mate do you have any last words and then he's attacked by Sukuna and before they can really fight Kenjaku's like yo bruv wait Sukuna you owe me a promise you're not fighting right now. Then Gojo says mm, alright let's reschedule to the 24th of December now why is that important? That is the anniversary of Ghetto's defeat that's when Yuta defeated Ghetto in the night parade of 100 demons as we saw in Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. Wow. Even Kanjaku says that's a bit romantic, isn't it? Now, why is this important? Why is this jaw dropping? Because we're going to have a two week break for the next chapter. So we don't know what's going to happen next. And I don't want to speculate too much, nor do I want to predict. Let's focus on what we know and why it's important. Sukuna told Gojo during the first clash that when he is revived, that Gojo will be the first person that he is going to kill. Now, although he's not in Yuji's body, he's in Megumi's body, he acknowledges that and says, I'm still going to kill you. And Gojo acknowledges that Megumi looks a bit different, obviously with Sukuna taking over his body now. So it is really coming full circle. And that's exactly what Jujutsu Kaisen is all about coming full circle. There was a lot of doubt and fear that Gojo is going to be mentally unstable, but he subverted that expectation and is quite sane. It's also quite built and hench. What the hell was he doing inside the prison realm? The prison realm has time move differently than we know. It could be one second, it could be a thousand years. We actually don't know as of chapter 221. It's only been 19 days from Gojo being sealed to where we are right now. It felt so much longer actually 1184 days in length in real time. We've waited for this for a long time and I think this is exactly what the culling games needed. I had a discussion with a lot of offline mates talking about how Jujutsu Kaisen needs Gojo. It's not been the same since Gojo was sealed because a lot of people said I stopped watching it since Gojo was sealed. It wasn't the same. It felt boring or it felt like it's missing something. Now, whatever your opinion is, we can all acknowledge and admit that Gojo brings an energy that only his character can bring to this series. And he comes at a time which was so important. We've been going from downward spiral to downward spiral with Megumi finally succumbing to the darkness after his sister was killed through his own body, albeit through Sukuna's will. It was heart-wrenching. We saw Yuji being defeated. We see our heroes being outclassed. The Kenjaku and Sukuna team up looks unstoppable. The only hope was Gojo and finally he's here. I don't think there's a better time for him to return and he's maintaining his composure. He's maintaining his humor. He's being Gojo. We need Gojo and we cherish Gojo. Please do not kill Gojo.